Hey everyone, hope you're well. Uh, well now, you'll want to learn and play some jazz. You know, kind of, sort of. Uh, because today we're going to have a look at how to play the solo to Planet Caravan by Tony Iommi and Black Sabbath. Now, I have to say that it's, it's kind of interesting that one of Sabbath's most beloved songs, being as they are the godfathers of metal, uh, happens to be one of their most laid-back and mellow songs, a, a track that is so very far removed from their typical hard rock metal sound, almost bordering on like psychedelic jazz. Uh, it also holds the mantle as being one of Tony Iommi's most interesting and memorable guitar solos. Uh, Planet Caravan, as you may know, is this spacey, ethereal, psychedelic mood piece uh, sandwiched right between the heavy classic rockers Paranoid and Iron Man from the band's 1970 album, Paranoid. Uh, the track, just two chords going back and forth for over four and a half minutes, closes out with that wonderful and jazzy noodle fest of a guitar solo by Tony Iommi. Uh, and today, we're going to learn how to play those two chords and that wonderful solo pretty much note for note, or as close as I managed to get it. Uh, now, there may be a number of edits uh, throughout this tutorial, as this solo is pretty long and, and kind of like this free-form jazzy noodling, you know, and a lot of improvisation and whatnot. So I tend to get a bit lost here and there when I slow it down for demonstration purposes. So I may need to stop to get my bearings now and again as we go along. So apologies for that right up front. Uh, regardless, and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? But first, let's close in here a little bit on the fretboard. All right then, let's have a look at this one. Uh, we are in standard tuning for this tutorial. We are on the neck pickup of a Les Paul style guitar, and uh, we're working in uh, the Dorian mode, or the Dorian scale in E. And uh, so the Dorian scale in this position here at the 12th fret in E, is right there. Now we're going to be working on these 11, 12, 14s on the D and the G string. Right in that little wheelhouse, a whole heck of a lot within this solo. So get used to working right there. Now the chords uh, that open uh, Planet Caravan, oh, I should mention as well that we're not strictly in the Dorian. We're grabbing the blue note. It's a mix of the Dorian mode and the blue scale. So we're using uh, the blue note quite a bit within this solo right there at the 15th fret of the G string. We're going to be hitting it. We're going to be bending up to it. Uh, we're also touching upon it here as well at the 8th fret of the D string. And uh, so it's a real hybrid of the, the Dorian mode and the blues scale. And uh, so the chords... is just back and forth from A minor, sorry, E minor. So we're, we're going down the string, skipping over the A string. And then on the upstroke, you're going to grab the open B, the, the, the uh, open G string, and maybe a little bit of that uh, second fret of the D that you're holding as part of the E minor. Now the first time you upstroke, you're going to kill it. Kind of like that, with the palm of your hand, the side of your hand. And the second time you hit it, you're going to let it ring out. Kind of like that. Now, you'll see uh, Tony Iommi uh, playing this one here. Exact same thing. I like to play it here, though, in the, uh, the more traditional E minor position. But just skipping over the A string. Now we're going to go into this D611 chord. It's a D6 chord with an open G string in it, which is the 11th interval of the, uh, the D major. And you're just going to ride down the four middle strings. I've got my ring finger on the uh, fifth fret of the A and my middle finger on the fourth of the uh, D with open G, open B. And you're just going to ride down the four middle strings. And then you're going to go A, D, G string again. 
and then once you hit the open G, you're going to drop on to the second fret of the G string. Before going right back into E minor. And again, you'll see Tony Iommi playing that like this. Grabbing that, uh, that A note there at the seventh fret of the D string instead of here at the neck position. All the same notes, but I find it more comfortable to play here. Same notes. And uh, so the solo. That's the first little phrase of the solo. So <clears throat> into the ninth fret of the A string, back to five, and then into seven. A little slide into that nine. So we're, uh, we're going to do a little slide, a little slide into the blue note and then back out of it, back from 7 to 8 and back to 7, kind of like that. first phrase. So now uh, from, you know, we start with that slide into nine, but the rest of it is here on the fives and sevens with that one quick little slide up to the blue note there at the eighth fret and then back to seven. And that's the first phrase. Uh, the fifth fret of the D. You can give it a little tiny downwards tug and then kill the note. And then we're into this. So now we're doing these little pre-bends up to the blue note. And then releasing back to the natural note. We do it twice in a row. And then we're going to do it one more time, but before we do it, we're going to pick that note at the seventh fret of the D. And then we're going to go seven off to five, and we're going to hit that five, uh, that note at the fifth fret of the D string, a whole bunch of times, like maybe six or seven times. So from the beginning. So those bends are little half step bends. Got it? And then we're into this. Now we're into this little 11, 12, 14 box. And that first little phrase is all on the 11s and 12s of the D and the G. And finishing on 11 of the D. And then we're into this. two hits on the 11 of the D. And then we're into this. Now we're up 
to the low E string on the 12s and 14s. With a little hammer on 12, 13, 14 of the A. And then you're going to go down to the uh, 12th fret of the D, roll back up to the 12th fret of the A to finish that phrase. Kind of like that. And uh, so from the beginning, to this. Back on the 11s and 12s of the D and the G, starting on the uh, 12 of the G, and then a little trill from 12 to 11 to 12. And then we're into this. Twelves, fourteens. And then finishing with these three little hammer on pull offs from eleven to twelve of the uh, D string back to eleven. So from here. to this. Again, all in the 11, 12, 14, same two uh, strings. And then we're into this nifty little run. the 12s and 14s until we get to the blue note there on the G string and then these little hammer-ons 12 13 14 of the uh, the D string sorry of the A string and the D string but each time you go to the 12 you're gonna double hit it and then you're gonna jump up to the blue note and then back to 14 of the G Got it, so from here. And then we're into this. little 11 to 12 trills, but you're only going to do them twice. Got it? Let's take it from the top.
and that's where we left off with the, with the double uh, trill. And uh, then we're to this. Just uh, 11, 12, 14 of the D, a little trill between 12, 14, back to 12 of the G. And then up to, uh, then we're into this. So we're up to 16 here. And then a little trill between 15, 16, back to 15 of the G. And then slide it back to 12. And then we're back in the 11 12s of the D and the G. And that's that little run. So let's take it from here. And then we're into this nifty little run. So we're uh, we're we're kind of basing it off the twelves here with these little these little hammer on pull offs uh, from fourteen to fifteen. So you're starting the first one on the twelve, and then when you move up to the D string, you're starting it on the fourteen. Kind of like that. And then you're going to move it back two places. And then you're going to do the exact same thing again. And then you're going to go up to the, uh, the E note there at the 12th fret, off to 10. And then back for a double hit of that E note at the 12th. slide out of it. And that's that little run. So the whole thing kind of put together. Um, And then we're to this. So uh, we're on the uh, the nine up to ten, back to nine of the A. Back to five for three or four hits, and then back into seven. And then we're into that again, just going down to the uh, the five, seven, eight, the blue note of the uh, little slide into it and then back out of it. And then back to five, back on seven of the A. And then we're into this. Sorry, little mistake. Five, seven, eight, nine, and then back to eight. And then a little trill between seven, eight, back to five of the D, and then finish up on the uh, seven of the uh, A string. And that's that little lick. Seven five from the A to the D, and the 
these little triple little triplets there. We're going to start on the seven, hammer on eight, back off to seven, back off to five, three times. Starting with that, seven to five. And then finishing on the seven of the A. I like to think of this as kind of like the midpoint of the solo, starting here. You know, coming out of this. I like to think of that as kind of the midpoint. And then this starts the second half of the solo. to the B string here at the seventh fret, roll up to the seven of the G, and then back it up to six. And then a little trill between six, seven, back to six, and then up to seven of the, uh, the D string. And then just back and forth. I'm finishing on the seven of the D. Into this. back on the six there of the uh, the G string for like a triple hit so that's that whole little phrase put together got it and then we're to this So we're raking down the E minor, starting on the D string, and then dropping right onto the 14th fret of the high E, and then going up to 15. And then a little pull off, back to 12, and then finish on the 15 of the B string. And then we're into this nifty little run. Again, we're using the blue note here, so we're, now we're on these uh, 12, 14, 15s, right? And finishes on the, uh, the 14 of the D. And do a little slide back to 11 there. And now we're going to quickly move the whole thing way down here. And then slide into the E note there at 7. And now we're on the 4, four 5 here. Pulling it off to 2. And then 2 to 4, back to 2, off to open. Now move the whole thing up to the D string. on the two of the D and then move up to the, uh, the five of the A with your pinky and then slide it into the seven. Kind of like that. So from here. stages of the solo we're into this back 
back into the 1112s of the D and the G. I think that's exactly what he's doing right there. Hits that D note like three times at the 12th fret before sliding it into 14. this back into the blue note there sliding into it off to 14 back to 12 up to uh, 14 of the uh, D and then a little hammer on back uh, 12 to 14 of the G into this little pull off 14 back to 12 Finishing with a double hit of the, uh, the E note there at the 12th fret of the high E. And uh, there's a lot of dynamics going on here, as you may have noticed. You know, sometimes I'm playing really softly, other times I'm really digging into the notes. And, uh, you know, that rake that we did earlier, you're really playing that quite, you're really digging into that and playing it quite loudly, right? And all those notes. And the same is same here, you know? Like coming into it, that little lick there. Now this, you're really playing that quite loudly. Into this. So. Now we're going to go 15, 16, 17 of the high E. Pull it back off to 15, hit that 15 one more time and slide out of it. And then you're going to do this little quick little slide down the neck. And then you're going to drop into the, uh, the more of the traditional E minor box here. then giving it a bend. Off to 12, grab 14 of the D. And then into this. Finish on the 12 of the D. Hope that was clear. So uh, from here, I missed the slide. And then we're into this little run. It's really starting to fade out at this point, so it's kind of hard to hear exactly what he's doing, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, so where were we? here. Um, chromatic, starting on the 14, and then you're going to go 12, 13, 14, and then you're going to do the same thing on the G string. And then a little trill, 12, 14, back to 12. And then back it up to the 11, 12. And then you're going to drop onto the 12 of the D, and then up to 14 of the A. down kind of the pentatonic and uh, it's really really quiet what he's doing here so it's really hard to hear what he's doing but uh, it, it, it's very quietly and you finish on the E note there the root note kind of like that you know so uh, from here
of like that, you know, just messing around there. And, uh, and then we're to this. Starting with a little triple hit of the 14th of the D. Back to 12. This little phrase finishes with a little slide from 12 to 14. And uh, as it's really fading out, he's down here, he jumps back here. Does these little hammer-on pull-offs from uh, four to five, back to four of the D string, three times. Up to five, slide into seven. And then he goes back into these very quietly. You know, a little licks like that. as it's fading out, I think it goes back to the 11s and 12s. You know, something like that. And, uh, and that is pretty much the end of the solo. And uh, so let's just recap uh, from what I said earlier was the halfway point and play through that slowly. Right then, that is how you play the solo to Planet Caravan. Well, that is how you play pretty much all of Planet Caravan on guitar. I certainly hope that helped you out where you're looking to learn this classic Black Sabbath track and this very uh, loopy little uh, jazzy uh, solo that Tony Iommi put down for this one. And, uh, you know, give me a subscribe if you haven't done that already. That would be awfully nice. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when I upload something new. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves and I uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world wherever that may be, and we will see you next time. Cheers.